What is up my hunting brothers and sisters? Today we are going to do an unboxing and a review of the brand new for 2021 Dave Smith Decoys Posturing Hen. So stick tight and stay tuned. New DSD posturing and decoy. So I've been sitting on this for about a week. I was actually out turkey hunting in Nebraska and this did not make it in time for me on my trip. So uh, I thought I'd do a little bit of unboxing and show you the DS new DSD posturing hen decoy. Take it out in the sun and we'll show it relative to the older postures as well so uh typical dsd nice solid cardboard box stapled shut get her all opened up here and typical we got ourselves a nice camo bag comes with it we got ourselves a little promotion that's got all their decoys on it a decal and shipping information then a nice box for me to send to move my girls home from college here in a few weeks so let's take a look at this thing i'm really excited about this um you know i've owned all of the dsd turkey decoys and uh been waiting for dave to come up with a new hen pose and so this is going to be really exciting I think. check her out nice the ace material there's been some different iterations of ace um, there's been some really soft ones some firmer ones uh, this is a firmer ace I kind of like that uh, should withstand some abuse comes with the stake that slides up the back side and the grommet so as always made in the USA Dave aced it so let's take her outside and check her out in the sunlight with some of the older poses So here we are out in the sunlight, really bright sun actually, uh, to compare the new DSD posturing hen to all the other hens that DSD has produced. Um, you can see that this is the new posturing hen here. This is the original upright hen. Uh, you can see a lot more attitude in the posture of this hen. Uh, her chest is up higher, her tail is dipped down further than the upright. I'll turn them kind of side by side so that you can see that the way her back rolls off and the way her uh, secondary uh, feathers going in the tail and down across the back are kind of uh, up in the air a little bit here. So it gives her a lot more attitude in her posture. The coloration uh, is absolutely incredible. Now, in DSD's defense, this is one of the very original uh, upright hens in the ACE material here. Uh, since then, they've gone through several iterations in their painting. Uh, there's a lot more iridescence now. This is a lot flatter decoy. Plus, it's been used for uh, eight or nine years probably. But um, there's a lot of iridescence in this. Just absolutely beautiful. Uh, in comparison here is a leading hen. You'll see the leading hen is stretched out a little more level across the back. Uh, than what the posturing is. There we go. We get them all side by side here. You can kind of get a, an idea. 
So anyways, that leading hen's a lot more level. Um, this one here's been beat up. Most of the paint's gone on it from uh, being attacked by other real life hen decoys in hunting situations. She's got battle scars, but this gives you just kind of a, a feel for it. Obviously here's a feeder, doesn't relate to these positions, but an incredibly accurate carving as you can see uh, and, uh, and position. And it's just a great confidence building decoy but again here's what the uh here's what we're looking at is the focus here i'm going to flip her completely around um relative to the leading hen and the upright hen and you can just see the differences in detail on their backs uh, down on the ground here we've got uh, one of the original submissive hens and then we've got the the breeding hen from the uh, breeding pair or motion mating pair uh, as well so this is all of the options and how this new uh, posturing hen relates to them. Uh, I really like the attitude. I think that she's gonna be very effective when you get that real bossy hen who's incredibly territorial. And uh, maybe she's got that gobbler in tow, uh, but she's very agitated and upset when she sees this aggressive pose in this hen comes in and wants to pick a fight, creates all kinds of commotion that definitely either gets the attention of Tom's in the area or drags that time in with her. And, uh, you know, hopefully at that point in time, uh, either the Jake or the strutter decoy that, that I'm typically using uh, finishes the deal on the strutter. But this is, I'm really excited to get this out in the field. I'm, I'm heading to Kentucky here in about a week to hunt for their opener. And uh, I know she's going to be setting out because I'm really interested to see uh, the reaction of the hens. So, you know, again, that's it. I mean, all DSD made in the USA. You can't uh, can't go wrong there. Uh, just great service, great group of people. Um, you know, they're just they've been wonderful people for me to deal with over the years. I've hunted with the guys. Uh, they're just amazing. And and Dave is a true artist, and and Brad's a heck of a businessman, and Greg Hogan's. He's the man who uh, makes all the pieces come together when it comes to making uh, sure decoys get manufactured and out the door. So I hope you pick up one of these this year and test it out and have great success. But wanted to give you this review and uh, give you my thoughts. I think it's absolutely a gorgeous decoy. So uh, with that, uh, God bless. Stay safe out there. Enjoy your turkey seasons. And as always, it's a new day in the outdoors.